In this tutorial, I will show you how and when to use comments in C++. So I'm going to start with this very simple code where I print hello in one line, world in another line, and then exclamation mark. Let's run this with the code runner extension on Visual Studio Code. You can see hello world exclamation mark. All right. Now let's see the first kind of comment, which is the single line comment. Okay, to do a single line comment, let's say I want not to execute this line, I can do slash slash, and this line is going to be commented, as you can see, so I can add a space if I want or not, but everything after slash slash is going to be commented. Here you can see it turns green, so it can turn different color depending on the uh, text editor you use. Basically, when you do this, this line is not going to be executed. Let's run that. And you can see now we have hello exclamation mark. The world is not printed here. So when you are debugging, this is very useful. Okay, you can just comment a line and then if you want to execute this line, you just end comment the line. Now you can also use this comment to add some information. For example, here after a line, I can add slash slash and let's say some info about this line. Okay, so whatever is after, so at, on the right of the slash slash is gonna be commented. So if you put the slash slash at the beginning of the line, everything is commented. If you put the slash slash after the line or in the, in the middle, so everything after the slash is commented. So here this text is just some information text. What you can do also, what is usually done is when you have a line that you want to explain, instead of putting this on the right, what you can also do is putting this on top, okay, explanation for next line or maybe explanation for the next block of code. Okay, so by doing this, you can add some info, some warnings, some explanations about what is going on. And then, so you have the single line comment, but what if you want to comment many lines at the same time? Well, you have the multi-line comment and the multi-line comment, I'm gonna write it here, is actually this like this and to close it like that. Okay, so when you write this, everything that is between it is gonna be commented. Okay, so I can comment just one comment, okay, in one line, or I can do this, as you can see, everything here is gonna be commented. So this can be useful if you want also to add a long explanation somewhere, or if you want to comment a bunch of code, let's say I want to comment everything here, well, I can just put this here. So start the multi-line comment and then close the multi-line comment here. So I have one multi-line comment here, one multi-line comment here. Okay, so as you can see, using comments is not that hard. Okay, you have the single line comment, the multi-line comment, and usually the IDE or the text editor you use is gonna help you to see what is commented and what is not commented. And now very quickly, when to use comments? Well, first, for debugging. If you want to test your code without some parts, use comments so you don't need to actually remove the code and rewrite it later. Once you are done with debugging, just uncomment the lines like we did. And second, so you can improve readability of your code for you and other people. You may add comments to help understand what your code does or to give some warnings when modifying the code in the future. Of course, Comments are not a solution to bad code writing. First, make sure that your code is as explicit as it can be without comments and only then add comments to improve the code if needed. If you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.